All right, guys, it's Bob here, and uh, I've got a review in for you. Now, this is um, a bag. It's another one from Chic Moda. And uh, this one's actually a, a gym bag, or a duffel, as they call it. And uh, again, it comes in a separate bag so that you can sort of pack it away, which is, uh, you know, it seems to be quite synonymous with their bags. And uh, you can see it's got the nice big Chic Moda branding on there. You can see the usual tags that hang on there that give you the uh, all the international pricing and what have you. I'll leave all the links below anyway so that you can go and check them out on Amazon. And if we get rid of that, so you can see you've got a little hanger there, so you could hang it up in a wardrobe maybe by it. And if we open that up, and let's get that bag out. Now, is this another attached one? Because uh, if you remember on the rucksack it was attached. Yes, it's attached. So obviously that will become a reversed pocket that will go inside the bag and you'll be able to use it to put things in. And here it is. So as you can see, it's uh, quite a good sized bag actually. Uh, yeah, it is. Very good sized bag. So we've got pressed there to put the two handles together. And we've got a shoulder strap as well that's all built in and that is adjustable by these sliding uh, fittings here which are a good solid bit of plastic as usual the stitching is up to a very high standard so if you look at that you can see that there's there isn't a stitch out of place there it's uh, and then we've got some strengthening crossbar stitching here so let's have a look inside so if i undo that presser it is a dual zip, so you can open, in, open and close in both directions. And let's have a look inside, see what there is. So we've got like a partition section here that has got, yeah, right, so it's got like a long pocket where we've got, that's the one that it all goes inside of. So that sits down in there, and then we've got this little velcro section here so you've got a section where you can partition off maybe some wet or dirty items of clothing because it is actually aimed as a gym bag and on the outside we've got a couple of extra pockets there so if i unzip that and reach in yeah it is split uh yeah it is split into two separate pockets so you've got one at each end yeah i definitely can't uh, feel my own hand in there so yeah it is definitely separated and then of course you've still got that pocket there, which is the one that turns into the, uh, the bag to load it all into. So no stiffener in the bottom, but then this one is purely for putting your gym clothes in and stuff like that. For me, it's going to be more sort of put stuff in to uh, do like stopovers and stuff like that. So plenty big enough for me to get a pair of jeans, towel, uh, wash kit, that sort of thing. So yeah, so I'll... Uh, Try it out and I'll be back guys. So here it is guys. And as you can see, it's rather large. In fact, it's seriously large. I mean, that's it. I mean, I've loaded it up with uh, cushions there so you can sort of see it in its full. Um, it's just, it's so much bigger than I expected it to actually be. Um, I mean, for, for a gym bag, it's possibly even a little overkill. I'm not sure really. Uh, I mean, for what I wanted, it was more a case of a bag to go away with, a couple of nights away, uh, you know, some pairs of jeans, um, t-shirts, towels, wash bags, you know, just that sort of thing. Obviously in there you can chuck a laptop in, iPad, phones, whatever you want. There's plenty of room for it all. You know, I could even get my trainers in there and everything. So, I mean, you know, absolutely, really, really, uh, impressed with it and uh, of course those extra pockets and everything you know they help me storing sewing little bits and pieces and um, yeah i suppose if anything it can maybe do with a bit of a pad on the shoulder strap there sort of thing uh, but uh, and the prestid's a nice idea just to uh, fasten the handles together there so you know that 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 always makes it and then of course you know you got that pocket there which of course does reverse so once you've uh, once you've actually finished using that uh, it all basically will pack down to the size of that 
so you know that's quite impressive in itself and that that little pack then of course you can stick in a drawer hang it on a little hook in a wardrobe or whatever you wanted really zips are extremely good basically i mean they, for want of a better way of putting it they you know they just they just glide well and then, you know everything everything just functions the stitching's fantastic as usual i mean I've, I've never had any problems with any of the stitching coming loose on any of their bags uh, i mean one of them i think it was the the rucksack that i got you'll have seen that in a previous review um my grandson has <laughs> managed to pilf that off me he uses it for school and trust me he doesn't hold back <laughs> i turned up the other day and found it on the concrete outside their house so <laughs> he does not hold back and it's still in excellent condition it's still got no holes in it no rips no tears absolutely brilliant so um yeah i mean i can definitely recommend the sheet and bag range so uh do check them out guys seriously i'll uh, leave the links to this one underneath and then if you want to you can go and check out the rest of the range that they do got some absolutely fantastic bags and at a very good price so um yeah sheet motor just keep up the good work <laughs> brilliant bag and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video cheers guys see you